mom. <laughs> right? She's from the Ferguson clan. <laughs> this is Riza. He's from the Wu Tang clan. Don't get them mixed up. These guys will be hanging out a lot. Hanging a lot, a lot together. Actually, when I told my mom she was going to be meeting Riza, she went, Oh, from the Wu Tang gang! <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't actually talk like that, as you're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my lovely mum, Janet Ferguson. Hello, Janet. Welcome back, Mum. Thank you. I haven't seen you since your last movie was out. Oh, right. It's a talk show thing. It's a talk yes, show yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. So people come on with their movies and I pretend that I've seen them. It's a, it's a talk show thing. All right. You haven't made any movies, though, have you? No. No? Are you having a nice time in Los Angeles? I'm having a great time in Los Angeles. Really? What have you been doing? Oh, I was out with the most gorgeous gentleman on Tuesday. Yeah, well... Oh. You shouldn't talk about Dad like that. You've been married for 50 no. years. You get over it. No, you were out with, uh, with Rizza. With Rizza. Yeah, yeah, from that movie. <laughs> actually, actually, Mum, we sent out cameras to be with you, didn't we? And you made a little film for us. Yeah, well, let's take a look. Uh, look at my, uh, my mum's day with Rizza. Take a look at this. We pop, we roll, get money to the day we fall. My drop, my... Look at my own girl real quick. Put the scene out here. Cadillac. At your service, Miss Ferguson. Thank you. Let me be a gentleman and open the door at least. Oh, is this it? Yes. Ah. So, Miss Ferguson, um, do you have a nickname I can call you? Mom? Yes, I have Netta. Netta? So that raps though, RZA, Netta, here together. Got to get that, get that cheta. <laughs> oh. That makes sense, right? It certainly does. All right, so we're going to bong bong out of here. Good. Uh, bong bong. Bong bong. This is some adventure. I'm originally born in Brooklyn, New York. And then oh. I grew up on Staten Island, New York. Staten Island is lovely, though. Yeah, it has some good parts of Staten Island. Yeah. You see those bars like that? Yes. We have bars around the whole oh, neighborhood, right. so it's like a big oh. minimum jail. Oh. <laughs> but well, tell me, tell me about your home, though. Oh, my home? Oh, it's just a Glasgow. I saw a TV show about some of the old castles y'all had out there. Oh, yes. I was like, man, I'd love to get one of those. Yeah. I have, <laughs> I'd, be on, I'd be on MTV Clips like, yo, I'm the kid. Yeah. <laughs> You're very easy to talk with. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Netta. Also, you're a nice company, also. Thank you. I gotta say that. What did you think you were going to meet? I An thought you was going to, yeah, with an umbrella, like, boy, pull over. Go left. Go. No. <laughs> no, no. Listen, with a family like mine, I've lost all that authority. Oh. We and Nella rocking together. Yeah, we are. Do you swear? Yeah, I do. I do swear. Um, at, at you would call square. We call it cursing. All right. Yeah, I curse like a sailor sometimes. I won't even deny that. Do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, you're a bad boy. So let me go get a few shooting. Let me get you music. Yeah, I get a nice. I get one with less swearing. Right. I have one that doesn't have a lot of swear. Next time you write one, remember, it will not just swear too much. Yes, I will. <laughs> have you heard of Chris Rock? No. Nope. Well, he swears a lot. <laughs> oh, I'll he have swears, to get into swear, with swear. Him. You know, there's a guy in my group. Uh, he's, he's he's no longer with us on Earth, but he was a um, a member of my group. Mm -hmm. And his name is a swear. His name is. Can I say it? His name was Old Dirty Bastard. Imagine walking around with a name like. Hey, bastard. <laughs> You're gonna make Craig pay for some of these. Oh, but can yeah. I buy them all then? <laughs> Thank you Thank very you. much. You're a lovely boy. Thank you. Do you know what? It would be interesting to meet a gangster. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love a rich shot, Ah. <sighs> Only thing smell better is money. Education, <laughs> education. Education, you're right. There it is. Good. The Wu Tang manual. I'll be back. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> you got some good music. You got some good reading. Uh -huh. And then we're going to get some good eating. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
We're going to a place that serves breakfast all day. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. That's what we do. All right, here it goes, here it comes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Go to the grits with the butter biscuit, a little bit of eggs. She break my waffle, I'm a happy man. Right. Yeah, yeah, so how was that for you? It was lovely, thank you very much. Very good, Mel. Very tasty. We see why Roscoe is world famous, oh, right? Yes. <laughs> that was a nice little, little day, right? Thank well, you, yo. It's, uh, it's been great meeting you. It's been great meeting you too, yo. I had a great lad. afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Back for real. When we used to build a ghetto big deal, the shop and pop girls. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? How about that? Yeah. I got to tell you. I got to tell you. Sometimes in your life, some really very surreal things happen. I just sat and watched my mom make a little film for a talk show that I host in America with a gangster rapper. <laughs> it's, very, it's very weird for me to do that. Do you feel weird being out no, here? Is it strange? No, no, no. It said he wasn't a gangster. No, no, no. <laughs> He's not a gangster. It's, it's a style of rapping, it's, oh, I right. think. Uh, yes. I'm not, not entirely sure. I told him not to swear. I, 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 <laughs> and I think you'll start a whole new movement in yes, rap. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. So, did, have you had a nice time here in America? Have you had a nice time with, I did, very with much the folks? So. When we did you come back? Sunday? Sunday. We went for a meal, as you saw. Yeah, you um, went for a meal, yeah. He eats like a sparrow. A sparrow? <laughs> but he doesn't eat much? No. Oh, really? I wonder why. He said he eats to live. He eats to live. He doesn't live to eat. No. Right. Okay. I'm, I, I'm the other way. <laughs> I know, man. I know. Thanks for coming in, man. Thanks a lot. I love you. All right. Hi, Mom, everybody. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Andy Deck. <laughs> My first guest tonight, a legendary hip hop artist, one of the founders of the fantastic Wu Tang Clan. Uh, the new album, Eight Diagrams, is in stores now. Please welcome my friend, the Rizzo, everybody. <laughs> Man. How have you been? Happy New Year. Eh? Uh, Happy New Year to you too. How have you been? Are you alright? Yeah, I've been good. I've been yeah. super good, super cool. I, I, I'm very excited that you got a new album out. This is the first one since Old Dirty Bastard died, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the first yeah. one. You have eight diagrams. Yeah. Hey! Oh, okay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Got the whole, yeah, I got got the the whole thing going on. You know, I got to tell you before we, you know, do all the oh show business stuff. My um, my mother called me. Were you playing in Scotland this year? Yeah, we were in Scotland this yeah, year. Yeah, because my mother called me up and said, "Oh, son, she calls. She's in a, <laughs> she's in a, uh, a kind of like a a, ho a hospital now because she's been she's okay, been sick. Okay. Uh, when when uh, my, my mom was here, Rizzo took her out for chicken and waffles. Uh, yeah, the, the Roscoe's uh, baby. Roscoe's, yeah, yeah, it was great. And they got on very. You got on very well yes, with my yes, mom. Definitely. So my mother called me up. She said, "Oh, son, I see." The Wu Tang Clan are coming. <laughs> I quite like to go, but I can't. I don't feel very well. Will you tell the Rizzo that I'll go the next time? <laughs> I was thinking like the whole old people's home could go with their little walkers and everything. I make sure I make sure I put on the guest list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. What? But so no, you're touring then, and you're touring the albums. It's all back on with Wu Tang. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't tour. They on tour right now. I kind of took a chill off the tour for the um for the holidays. You know, right. went home for the back to the East Coast and the got family? with the family. Yeah, went to the family and had a had a traditional. Christmas, New Year's, you know what I mean? About 60 family members came over. Wow. And uh, my sister had to cook for all 60 of them, so she was out for four days. That's but, kind of a restaurant, really, yeah, more but, than a, yeah. But man, what an experience, because you know, you do this show business thing, we travel around the world a lot, and you yeah, really I'm get a chance. Yeah, I'm always going around the world. Here, Texas, and Kansas City. <laughs> That's bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it was good, but you no, know, I learned something this year, though. Oh, yeah? That, I was, that puzzled me since I was a kid. I come from 11 brothers and sisters, right? Wow. And, um... I always thought it was 12 of us. <laughs> because every time something would happen in my house, something would go wrong. My mother would say, who did it? Who did it? And everybody would say, not me. <laughs> so I thought not me was one of my brothers and sisters. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I got older and uh, 
And um, I seen one of my brothers do something. You know, I was my, about six years old. My brother, he did. I saw him do it. I saw it my own eyes. Right. And my what, mother. What, what did he do? He, he, he took a piece of pie he shouldn't have took. All right. Blue, okay. Blueberry pie. I would, I'd like to say I'd never done that. <laughs> she calls everybody in. Who ate the pie? Right. And everybody, including him, said, not me. And you saw him do it. And I thought he was not me. So ah. I started calling him not me. <laughs> but, uh, but this, so this, you know, this holiday season, we all there and we all eating. And, and I, have fry, I, I fry some tofu up and I put it to the side for myself. I go to the bathroom and, you know, I have to come out and eat it. Yeah. And it's gone. I'm like, who ate my fried tofu? And everybody said, not, not me. me. Yeah. <laughs> So, of course, it's my own. By the are you a vegetarian? Yeah, I'm a vegetarian. Now, oh, really? Yeah. Is that part of the whole martial arts discipline? Yeah, you gotta things? keep it good. You gotta keep yeah, it yeah, good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't uh, like the weekend I just had. What, what happened? I was eating like crap. I was eating meat like crazy. I was. Oh, you went down to Texas? Yeah. B -b 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 barbecue. <laughs> do, you, do you like, do you like, uh, well, you, uh, well, I guess I, I, barbecues I, yeah. don't beg for a vegetarian. Yeah, barbecue yeah. tofu don't really. Yeah, uh, yeah, it doesn't really work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have you been down in Texas? You like it? Oh, yeah, there? I love Texas. I love Austin, man. What a Austin's city. a great town, what a city, isn't it? Man. Yeah. What a city. Austin. Yeah. Mwah, Austin. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> it's a fantastic town. I like that place a lot. Yeah. Hey, you know what I saw? American Gangster. Oh. That is a great movie. You're oh, great in that movie. Well, thank you, thank you. That, that was a great movie. That, I mean, it really is. A, I like Russell Crowe. You like Russell oh, Crowe? He's super cool, man. Yeah, he's like a proper... You know, see when he threw the phone at that guy, I was like, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> now, I don't talk yeah. about it too much, right? Because I heard about the story that he, he threw the phone and he hit the guy. Yeah. But after working with him, he's just a great shot, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a great shot. You know, and I have to tell you, some guys need phones thrown at them. Come yeah, on, right. let's just say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I like him because you know I get the feeling he's like a proper kind of you know he's guy. A, yeah, he's a know? real man's man. Yeah. When we did the film American Gangster, uh, we, we had a team of guys called the Three Amigos: me, you, Vasquez, uh, John Hawk, Russell Crowe, right? Right. And at the end That's, of the, oh well, never mind. All right. Well, <laughs> at, the, well, at the end of the shoot, you know. You know, I play guitar now. He brings out gifts. You play he, guitar? Yeah, I play guitar. Oh, I baby. didn't know you played the guitar. I thought it was all... No, yeah. I'm a man. But Russell gave me a 1961 Gretsch. That's a guitar. That's a real guitar. Yeah. And when you get the album, A Diagram, you can hear that guitar. There's a song called The Heart Gently Weeps, where my buddy Danny Harrison is playing that guitar mm -hmm. on the album. And I want to thank really? Russell Crowe for donating that to, uh, to Wu-Tang Clan. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> the connection between Russell Crowe and the Wu-Tang Clan. Things <laughs> that you <laughs> thought you'd never, you never know. I know. <laughs> it's weird, though, isn't it? But you know what I thought was even weirder? I don't want to embarrass you in any way, but in that movie, you played a cop. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's funny, yo. Yeah. yeah thank like, you, thank did you. Did you do a lot of research for uh, the man, role? Very, 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 very lot of research. <laughs> you know what's funny? That is funny, because in New York City, and I'm not, you know, I'm a grown man, and I grew, grew out a lot of things, but in New York, man, I must have been chased by the cops every weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and this B sitting there, and now they got, you know, Universal spared no expense on this movie, so they had cops teaching you how to be cops. Right. And I'm seeing some of the guys, they know me. They're like, hey, we, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But it, be, it became fun. I actually became friends with some of them guys, yeah. and I got a new respect for police. And I want to tell all the youth of America to respect the police because the police are actually our uncles, our cousins, our brothers, our family members right. yeah, out there, you know, really doing job. their job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not easy, man. I it's really it. a tough job. I, I noticed as well. You see, when you, when you, whenever I've had any dealings with cops, which thankfully is not a lot <laughs> these days, but the first when I see other guys dealing with cops and they're all like yelling at the cop yeah. and in the cop's face, I'm like, are you nuts? <laughs> well, <laughs> Like, like the cop's gonna go, oh, I'm frightened. And well, then it's gonna go, oh. I used to do that, man. Did you really? I used to be like, I'm you like, don't have the rights. Meanwhile, I don't know my rights. But yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You don't have the right to. <laughs> boop, boop. Yeah, yeah really. okay, you're right. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's always good to see you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, it's blessing. great to see that the Wood Tang are back out and happy. The Rizza, everybody. Thank you. We'll be right back. My next guest is, well, he was my first guest as well. He's feeling a little fragile, so I would like you to be nice to him. At home, don't make any loud noises. <laughs> While he is performing Afro Samurai 2, open theme from the soundtrack to the Afro Samurai, the Resurrection, please welcome Riza and Stone Mecca, everybody. Riza and Stone Mecca. 
In this story I fold the author And try to bother the great sight of my father So I'm living today like there's no tomorrow Sword inside my sheath, my heart is filled with grief For all the dead souls, be shocked into peace Return of the apple scene, fatal mean guillotine Sword in my hand, I want that number one headband So many times I had to sneak up on a quicker With my finger on the trigger like Like I'm pulling out my sword This is combat, man, this is war Gotta be the number one samurai, Afro Samurai. You gotta be the number one samurai, Afro Samurai. You gotta be the number one, 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 one. It's 2009, a new year, we got a new president making a new change in this world, and right now we gotta have the spirit inside of us to realize that nothing can stop us, we all as Americans, the greatest country in the world, on the planet earth, right now nothing can stop us, we gonna do it like this, come on. of all time, started with small crimes, when others had big tops, I had small dimes, trying to make a come up, the blow used to numb up, a few G's a week, my click used to sum up, till my brother got locked up, my girl got knocked up, my homie East got popped up, shot up, cops on the block, no way to eat, so I dropped a half a G on the way to SB, 1200 sampler, in the Yamaha 4 track, the bass from the lab, Used to blow the door back, folks were doing stick ups, trying to make a vig up, waiting outside for the green truck to pick up. It wouldn't work, be back to chopping nicks up. These girls out there, they couldn't resist us. When I was stressed, I went to the rest, and the pad on the. Yo, yo, yo. No matter how hard you try, you can't stop me now. This the feel I want y'all to feel. You try, you can't stop me now. My first guest tonight is on the uh, show California Cation, which has its season premiere on Sunday night on Showtime. Take a look at this. Please welcome my friend Reza, everybody, Reza. Lovely to see you. How are you? Great ya? to see you again. Yeah, it's nice. To see you. I've seen you in a while. What are you doing, California Cation? Yeah. Is that the, that's the sex addict show, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the sex addict yeah. show. <laughs> are you a sex addict in the show? Uh, everybody's a sex addict in that show. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you do you get it on with people? Well, um, I play a rapper, and you know, rappers get it all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> wait, 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 Rizzo, you are a rapper. 
Oh yeah, I forgot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I'm, I'm with, uh, I think uh, David, the, the company made a word up. I'm a rap tour. Raptor? Yeah, I rap and I act, so I'm a rap tour. That's a, that's the dinosaur, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't, I didn't that's, make it that's how the company does it. He, that's how he disses you. He gets in on the side. He, uh, called, you a, he called you a dinosaur. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got to get that together. Yeah, you got to work on that a little bit. Is he all right? Yeah, I've yeah, seen him for a yeah, while. That dude is super cool, man. Yeah, no, he's super a nice cool. guy. Yeah, He's my first guest on this show, you know. I didn't know that, no. Yeah, I think you were like third and he was first. Wow. Yeah, yeah it was like in the, the same week, I think. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're both doing well. I'm still stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, are you, uh, are, you, are you still working with the Wu-Tang Clan though, right? Oh yeah, of course, Wu-Tang, right. Wu-Tang is forever. Wu-Tang forever! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, look, they're doing the thing. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, you know, we're still making music, still playing a lot of chess together, you know, keep the chess pieces moving. Right. Keep the brain focused. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you leave me standing, though, a little bit with the chess. I don't understand. You still play actual chess? Yeah, I play chess, man. Yeah. Um, I can't do it. I'm terrible at it. Well, I can show you. I got, a, I got, I got an application. It's not, a, it's not nothing you put on your body. It's right. Like, it's like an iPhone app. Oh, right. It's not an actual application. Yeah, 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 like, oh, yeah, yeah, rub yeah, this one. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's called the uh, Rizzle World app, and I have a chess thing in there that talks to you, teach you, coach you through it. Really? And uh, I think I can make a chess player out of you, man. Do you, you, you think you could do one for uh, sex? <laughs> well... <laughs> Talk you through it. Uh, tell you what to say if, if if your parents come in. You know what? How you would react? You know what's so funny? Actually, in my app, I do talk people through their first date. Really? Yeah. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you no, talking listen, I'm about? Trying to, I'm trying to help kids. Yeah, yeah. Man. Really? So you? Kids, yeah. So well, okay. Well, imagine I'm a kid on my first date, right? I'm excited. This this is the lo lo the, this is the lovely lady I'm taking out. Well, now that's her. Well, I'll no, I say represent. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Okay, well, I'll be like, listen, man. Yeah. First thing you gotta do. Yes. You know I mean, you don't, you know, whisper something nice in her ear. You're Wh very attractive. Your okay. <laughs> I'd like to have sex with you. Well, <laughs> see this snake. This, see the snakes oh, just keep right, there. Snake you off. All right. Yeah, because the snake is usually what we have. Oh. <laughs> I see you're using the imagery of a snake as a penis. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you, uh, you, did you directed your first movie yet? Yeah. I know you were been working on that. Yeah, we were talking about that yeah. years ago, and I finally did it. I directed my first movie. It's called The Man with the Iron Fist. Um, have some great actors. Who Russell, Russell Crowe in the movie. He's Australian. Hey, yeah, he's Russell Crowe. Hey, I, I love the Australians. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. No. Now, wait a minute, didn't you work with Russell Crowe in uh, American Gangster? Yeah, I right. acted beside him. Yeah. And, uh, um, I had a great script that um, he, uh, he, I, like, he, um, he read it and uh, he kind of dug what was going on. And yeah, no, he, I, I like him. He's all right. You, know? yeah, this, yeah, this you, you remember when he threw the phone at that guy in New York? Yeah. I was like, yeah, that guy was a jerk. He needed a <laughs> phone thrown at him. <laughs> hey, let me say something about that. Right. It ain't just that he threw the phone and hit the guy. Yeah. Actually, he's a good shot. He's a good shot. So, <laughs> good arm. Yeah, like, he Because that miss. phone was all wires yeah. and stuff. That wasn't like a, a digital phone. It was an old-timey phone with wire. They the drawback, right? Yeah, you got... <laughs> it could be flapping everywhere. Uh, who else? So, you got Russell... Oh, I got the lovely Lucy Liu in the movie. Shut up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's actually kind of hard to right, direct it. Right there. Yeah. That's, yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me whisper something in that yeah, one. Right? Yeah, that's all, <laughs> that, she, she's very attractive. Oh, very Did you notice how attractive she is when you were... Oh, man, yeah. I, had to, I had to keep my focus. Um, I like to say something, you know, you know, last time I came on the show, I had these shades on. Well, you, you had, yeah, you were... You were was you in Vegas. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been sober. Oh. That's why you can see my eyes today. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, becoming a director, you know, has taught me a new focus. You know what I mean? Taught me to focus in his own end. So I put some of these vices behind. Yeah. And, uh, you know, made a, a new man out of me. Look at no, it. You, you, no, you look good. I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> and uh, since last, I just want to kind of fill you in some things. Last, since I last saw you, I've been married. You go, ma congratulations. Married. That's married. lovely. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 look at that! Like, it's like rapper's wedding ring, Scottish Protestant wedding. Ring. <laughs> it's like, so, yeah, Mary, that's enough. No, no, no sense in enjoying it. Yeah. But and the good thing is now when I go on a tour with the with the Wu Tang Crew, right? Right. 
um, you know, girls still come on my tour bus. No. Yeah, of course, of course. But well, how do you get rid of them? Well, it's, well, <laughs> well first of all, the, the tour bus is wrapped with this big picture of me with my new headphones on. And they come in like, do you got, you know, you got headphones? No, no, it's just a tour bus, baby. That's just advertisement. But how I get rid of them is I bring them to the back. Uh, uh, this is not. <laughs> all right, all right. And, 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 you don't have to do go down gotta, this road, I gotta, man. I gotta finish it. I bring right. them to the back, and I give them words of wisdom. Is <laughs> <laughs> I give them words of wisdom, what, man. What, 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 like the chess app? Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, something about chess. Something about you know picking up a book. Yeah. You know, cause uh, you know, I learned something, Craig. Is that when you, you know, in the old days, I would bring a girl on the bus, we'd dog out, and then we send her home to her parents. <laughs> and when she, and when, he doesn't mean it. He doesn't mean it. Joe. <laughs> and when she get home, yeah. you know, it causes problems at home. Yeah, you know, it causes, ooh, the, yeah, father, yeah. the father's mad at the daughter. The mother's mad. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gone to the next city. Yes, yes. Um, if, hypothetically, if right. this ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> but I've, now I have a daughter. Yeah. Oh and and I realized. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We gotta give these girls something more. Then it's physical. And so I try to get them something mental. Hopefully it'll last longer. Unfortunately, they come to the back with me. Unfortunately, they get to the back with me, right? And yeah, they yeah. get the words of wisdom. Then they got to make it off the bus past the rest of the crew. Yeah, I see, that's your problem. And they don't make right. it. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Oh, look, uh, <laughs> what do you, you want to do? You want to do awkward pause, uh, big cash prize, or uh, do we have anything else? No, that's probably it. Uh, <laughs> big cash prize or awkward pause. Or you could play true or not true. Uh, wow, that sounds tempting right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, you want to play true I'm, or I'm not going true? with true or not true. It's just like Big Cash Prize, except there's a jingle. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? That's, that's right. It's true or not true. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't seem right. Don't we say it's time for the Big Cash Prize and then do true or not true? All right, let's try it again. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the Big Yeah, okay. you know, I know it's been a while since I've seen you, but you'll see the show hasn't improved in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Fifty dollars uh, you could win by answering this very simple question. Which great American leader was the only man ever to hold a patent? George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, or Abraham Lincoln? A patent? Yeah, a patent. Oh, a patent, like, a patent. A patent. A patent. Oh. Sorry, I, I'm not oh. originally from Los Angeles. Uh, uh, Lincoln! It's the correct answer, yeah! <laughs> My next guest is a musician, an actor, a writer, and now also a director. He's got a new film out, The Man with the Iron Fists, which is in theatres now. Take a look at this. It's a kid's movie. <laughs> Please welcome Reza, everybody. Reza. I'm back in Good the to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I was busy. Yeah, I know. I'm making a film. Do you, uh, you want one of these? You hooked me up. Hook yeah, me up. yeah, all right. I got you. Know. How'd you spell it? <laughs> there you are. Oh, right. yeah, okay, you want me to do the thing? It's pretty. Yeah. You want some of this while you're here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're trying to get me back into reality. No, no, you're fine. How, listen, congratulations on the movie, man. That's fantastic. Thank you. Dude. And also, making a movie with Lucy Liu. Good grief. Um, there you are. I'm in business. Yeah, no. Uh, the the movie's fantastic. It's uh, it's a kung fu movie. Yes. Who knew? Who knew? Right? Yeah. A lot of action. Uh, it's definitely a movie that on the weekend you go see this movie. It's not one of those sit through, dramatized. You know, lose your no weekend fun. Friday, Saturdays, go see the Man with the Iron Fist. Right. Have some fun. Right. You know I mean? I, I, are you uh, are you uh, are you still into the kung fu yourself? Are you uh, are you kunging and fuing a lot? Yeah. I put, well, I put the F U. And kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got, I bought something for you. Oh, you did? Yeah. What'd you bring? I bought a couple of things here. 
I bought this for Milo, actually. This is an Iron Fist necklace. For my oldest boy, eh? Thank you yeah. very much indeed. I figure it's too long for Liam, so he... Yeah, yeah, the, the young... Well, he's only two, so if I put this on him, he'd get all kind of <laughs> weird about it and eat it and stuff. That's great, thank you. Now, I bought one other thing. Yeah? Because, see, my agent, Cameron Mitchell, he wear these every day, right? These are Iron Fist cufflinks, and I figured I'd get those to you. See, that's when you know you have a proper movie, when they have cufflinks exactly. as part of the... Thank you, man. You can rock those. Yeah. You can rock those and just bunk, bunk them out. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. And I also got, I got you something. Okay. Uh, uh, here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I don't have no hat, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use it as a sexual aid. Oh. <laughs> what? What? What are you on? Any, any, any volunteers? No, no, no. <laughs> hey, you know, no, no, it's crazy. Um, Put it down, I creep myself out. <laughs> it's, it's, it was a big weekend for me. My movie came out theaters, and uh, I'm really happy about that. But I, it came out when I was back in the East Coast, and Hurricane Sandy hit. Oh, man. And and so, you, you're from Staten Island, though, aren't you? Yeah, Staten Island. Yeah, right. And we got hit bad, and um, instead of really celebrating, I basically had to go and get generators for the house. And, and I have a brother who's... Um, He's a, con a general contractor. Oh, wow. Now, I'm the, I'm the star of the family. You know, I make music, I make movies. But last weekend, I was nobody. Yeah. It was my brother who was able to fix the um, electrical problems, fix the plumbing, and get out there. You can't do any of that? None of it. I could cut wood, though. I went out there, I did a little uh, chopping down trees, and I cut some firewood up. That's why that's here, then, right? As, as I go here, look at that. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Yeah, you, you got me. You know what that is? That's Wu Tang right there. Look at that. That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> is that you? That's me, man. Well, what are you work? chopping wood for? Because there's no heat in the house. Really? A lot of people in Staten Island, Jersey, uh, Queens, really got it, Long Island got it bad. Yeah, no, really bad, yeah. Um, you know, but it's, you know. How are things now? Have you, are you, have you been in touch with people? Because they know the other storm's coming in today yeah, as well. I, well. I flew out today. I got out, right. got out this morning. I seen snowflakes pa pass me by, but I made it here. Right. Um, happily to be in sunny California. Yeah, I guess. I guess, yeah. <laughs> what style of martial arts do you do? Well, I do is a thing called Qi Gong. Yeah? And Qi Gong is about building up your energy, focusing it, bring it back down to your Do you do team. this to pick up girls? Is that what Qi Gong is? It, it, it helps out. It helps a lot with those Yeah, things. a little bit. So <laughs> you, 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 you bring it up. Yeah. You let it go down. You could drop it all the way down. Yeah, I think it did. I think it just okay. dropped down on its own. And when it gets down here, yeah. you go hold it there. Yeah, I sometimes do hold it there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now if you hold it there long enough, yeah. when you go home later on, later on at night, yeah. you let it, let it loose. This is, you're just describing my life. This is not a martial art. <laughs> so listen, did you, uh, you made the movie in Shanghai. You actually did it in China yeah, then, right? Yeah, with the China. Um, we had Russell Crowe in the film. Alucido. He's fantastic, Russell Crowe. Oh, he's great, man. And thin Russell Crowe, fat Russell Crowe, it doesn't matter. He's still awesome. <laughs> Got a crack. Yeah, yeah, he goes up and down, it doesn't matter. He doesn't, he's like, he's like a white Australian Oprah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We also had a good buddy in there, uh, Rick Yoon and Dave Batista, right? Oh, really? And these guys are full of muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking yeah. about muscle galore. And uh, Dave Batista was a heavyweight wrestling champion. And, you know, and Rick is a Taekwondo fighter. Now, these two guys kind of didn't get along a little bit, you know? And this tension was building up, building up, building up, building did, up. Did it build up down here or did it build up here? <laughs> well, it started here. Yeah, it started there it and then built it built up, up here. Nah, that's bad. And when it got here, though, yeah. I said action and we got a great fight scene out of them guys. They actually fought is what you're saying? It's a great scene. Yeah. <laughs> a great scene. <laughs> yeah, but you're not meant to, are you meant to do that as a director, actually encourage your actors to fight each other? Well, you want it. Well, this is an action movie, man. Yeah, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but real fighting? I mean, people could get hurt. They could no, 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 no. We, 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 we choreographed everything. You know, we All have right. flying knives and brass bodies and... I mean, you got to see this thing, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we're out of time. You want a piece of fruit? Uh, let me see what you got in the stash. Uh, all right. Um, I got, uh, I got a, a floop and a pepe pepe pe pe and... I know he was happy to see me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 give, me, give me something small. Uh, look at that. That's good for okay. that's good for perspective because it looks like a regular apple. Uh -huh. But if you use it for perspective, you go. Uh, ah, ah. I think I'll, I think I'll take that. One. You want this one? Yeah. All right then. A lady, a lady apple. It says right here. Says, I know it's a lady apple. But I'm a man. Do you know the Latin name for that? No. Clitoris. Oh. <laughs>
Where, where's the feather? <laughs> yeah, there you go. You're all set. Okay. Reza, everybody, we're the right back. I'll be back in uh, eight months. And <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>